Okay, so our last little tip is something really useful actually. It's the ability to lock an item within numbers. So you can see on this bar chart here, this stat bar chart, that I can't actually move it. With the table above it, if I click on it, it'll move around. And sometimes when you're moving around on a sheet, this can just move things where you don't want them. So if you go up to the paintbrush and arrange, the way to do that is to lock things. And you can do this with anything, with charts, with tables, with images, lots of things can be locked. So just on the paintbrush, up to arrange and then lock. And you can see that they still all work, they still all do what they're meant to do, but now if I click on them, they're not gonna just move across when I'm trying to move around the sheet um, and annoy me. We can do it with the shapes as well, so we can unlock them, lock them again. Um, we can do multiple ones at once. If I want to highlight everything and lock it, then I can do it and unlock it exactly the same. The only thing we need to also be aware of is if you want to use something, we don't want to lock it. Um, so here we go again, just arrange, and then down the bottom it says lock and we can unlock it. So if I show you here, um, this text box, now I actually want to write in that. If I lock it, I can't click into it and write in it again. So anything that you want to use, like these text boxes, or actually where the task to-do list information is, where you're writing in the to-do list, don't lock those, because then you can't use them. But that's my final tip of the series. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.